hey guys welcome to this tutorial series on top java interview questions so my last video was about the comparable where i have explained uh, the introductions about the comparable and comparator then i have created the comparable in eclipse so if you have not seen that video please check that also i will give the link for that video in the description of this video so uh, in my last video, I've created this class employee class and I was uh, sorting based on the name of the employees. So I have created a test class also. So in this video, I'm going to explain about the comparator, which is actually used for the sorting purpose also. But using comparator, we can do different type of sorting. So let's say we want to sort any collection based on this employee name or ID so we want to sort based on name and ID both so using comparator we can do that we have to create uh, one class for each type of the sorting so let's do that so using comparable we cannot perform that because comparable is just used for the one type of sorting so here we did for the name so to sort based on other properties let's create a class as id employee id comparator okay so in this class we need to implement comparator okay so here we can pass employee and employee okay so this comparator have compare method so that we need to override so let's override it okay so to sort it based on the id we just need to Let's keep some relevant name for these variables e1 and e2. So we can directly return e1 dot get id minus e2 dot get id. Okay so so this function will return uh, 0 or positive or negative value based on the id of the employees and based on that it will sort the values so, okay so we can yep so we can now test this we have a test class so here let's comment this out okay or we can reuse this like we have three objects of the employee and to sort this based on id we, we have to provide the class name that is our employee com id comparator okay okay so here we need to pass the list which is our employee list okay so yeah we can test it now okay so, okay so let's run this so it should sort the employee objects based on id yeah so our first id is 11 then 10 and all of so it is now sorted in order so if we if we add one more employee object let's say we have employee 4 okay so okay so let's give some name to this object see it is e4 and so the id is 100 so let's test this now okay so 
okay so we need to add this into the employee list as well so it is e4 okay so let's run this yeah it is sorted so now let's say we have one more field into this class let's say we have a employee id so let's create get and setter for this as well okay so let's add the get and setter and we need to add a constructor also to set the values so here we can pass string employee id and this dot employee id equal to employee id okay so now same way we can create one more comparator as we have created employee id comparator so we can create one more class where we can sort based on the employee id okay so employee id comparator 2 okay so here also we need to override the equal to uh, compare method and then based, based on the employee id we need to get employee id so we have employee id field okay get employee id so here we need to use compare to employee id so now this is our third field into employee class so based, based on this field we can also sort this so let's create some objects into employee list so let's create so here we need to pass employee id as a string so let's say we have employee 2 as a id okay employee 1 okay 1 2 3 Okay, let's change it to add the second parameters and here we need to add okay so can add the values to same objects we don't need to initialize them again okay and here we can print the third field which is e dot get employee id okay so here we need to change it to employee id comparator 2 okay let's check this this is Okay, employee id comparator 2 okay so let's run this now okay so it is sorted based on the employee id the third field that we have added just now okay so in this way we can sort let's say we have one more field here employee a's or n number of fields so we can create n number of comparator and we can sort uh, any custom objects based on uh, different types of the properties of objects so 
that we can do using the comparator using comparable we cannot achieve that so let's talk about some of the differences of the comparable and comparator so these are the differences okay so the first difference is comparable interface is used to provide single way of sorting where comparator interface is used to a different way of sorting yes, so uh, in my last video I have use comparable where I was able to sort the simpler object based on the uh, name so here using comparator I was I am able to sort based on different uh, different ways of different fields so that is the first difference second difference is for using comparable class need to implement it wherever for using comparator we don't need to make any change in a class yes definitely so as if you see the logic of comparable that we have created in in our employee class in the employee class I was implementing comparable interface so here I have implemented comparable so I did changes into the employee class so to use comparable but using comparator I have not done any change I have created just new class to do to perform the sorting so that's the second difference okay so the third difference is comparable interface is in java dot lang package where comparator is in java dot util package okay so last difference is we don't we don't need to make any code change at client side for using comparable array dot sort or collection dot sort method automatically use the compare to method of the class okay, yeah so if you see the logic of comparable uh, so in sorting test class we have to we don't need to put comparable uh, we don't we know we here for the comparator we need to put the particular class which have created for the comparator at the list but for comparable we don't need to put any we don't need to change do any change for the during the sorting so so that's what the for comparator client need to provide comparator class to use compare method so these are the some of the differences of comparable and comparator so you can use any one of them based on the requirements for the sorting any custom class in java so thanks for watching in my next video i will cover other java interview questions so see you next video bye bye